Welcome back then. Nifty is down close to 20 points approximately. A couple of stocks that are seeing some bit of uh, you know, profit booking. Vedanta is lower. That, in fact, has moved into the red now. Hindalco is down close to around a percent and a half. But I think the reason that the Nifty is struggling a tad bit is because heavyweights, like a TCS, that's down nearly around 2%. It's had a good run in the recent past. And even LNT is moving lower. That was trading well in the green. Now it's on the verge of moving to the red. So the intraday chart of LNT should come up for you on uh, the screen. The mid-cap index just mildly moving into the green. But on that note, let's uh, get to our movers and shakers segment then. And let's start off with Rima on uh, Wipro. Rima, uh, the stock, in fact, moving higher. The crucial nod report suggests that it's come through. Yes, this is reports which suggest that the company has got the SEBI nod for a $1.7 billion buyback, which is about 12,000 crore rupees. The buyback price is seen at 320 rupees per share, which is roughly a 15% premium to where the stock is quoting right now. And compared to yesterday's closing price, it is a premium of nearly about 17%. This would be the third buyback from Wipro and the largest one at that. So in 2016, they did 2,500 crores. In 2017, it was 11,000. 1,000 crore and now we are talking about 12,000 crore uh, buyback and the expectation is that this will be announced when the company declares its numbers next week. Now just purely doing the math based on the numbers that we have, 12,000 crore rupees at a price of 320 rupees. So we're talking about 37 and a half crore shares which could be potentially bought back which puts the acceptance ratio at 6.2%. Now the promoter's stake stands a little more than 74% which means that the buyback price needs to be attractive enough for the other shareholders to also participate. They have sufficient cash in the books. The cash as of December stood at more than 20,000 crore rupees. Um, so, uh, you know, they will be, if they do the entire 12,000 crore rupees, they will be utilizing about 60% of that. Okay. All right, Rima. Thanks so much for that. Well, Praj, that's the other big mover. Volumes also very, very large on uh, that counter. Anisha joins in to run us through what's the news on that one. Anisha wearing green, stock's well in the green. Oh well yes, the stock is well in the green, up over 5% in trade and that is because the company has signed an agreement with Revolves of USA and this will help them to commercialize the technology for production of isobutanol. Now what is isobutanol? That is something that finds its application for renewable aviation jet fuels as well as some other uh, usage of this product. So what this does is it allows the company to expand its product capability and also the applicability. Remember earlier they were used to, uh, they, one of the products was used to blend the ethanol into the uh, into the passenger vehicle fuels as well and this basically helps the company to give more revenue stream. Uh, we don't know exactly what could be the top line benefit as a result of this agreement but nonetheless it is a positive. Uh, the stock has not been doing much for the last couple of years. It was very range bound but this year itself it has seen a big move. Okay, thank you very much for that, Manglam. There is a downgrade on Century Ply by CLSA. What's the key reason? Absolutely, Rima. You know, uh, the stock, if you take a look at it, in the last one year has been down 42% from its 52-week high has also corrected about 43%. It was just at the start of this year that it was finding its feet up around 10, 14%. And now it's uh, lower in today's trading session as CLSA, like you said, has downgraded the stock from buy to sell and the target price has also been cut. The key reason for that being uh, the fact that there is a supply glut in the medium density fiber board or MDF business as we know it, and because of which the realizations and margins are likely to be under pressure. Now, if you remember, just a couple of years ago, everyone was talking about how good MDF is as a substitute to ply boards and has higher margins and also higher return ratios. It was so good that everyone went ahead and increased their MDF capacity. So now that uh, greatness or preference of MDF over plywood and the increased capacity itself is turning to turning out to be an albatross in this industry. So green ply, while it's increased its capacity massively, is still functioning at 30% capacity utilization. Uh, and this is when Rushil Records' new plant hasn't even come on board. Action, who's the leader in MDF, has also in, uh, reduced the MDF prices. So that's as far as the MDF business is concerned, which was the growth trigger. The mainstay of the business, which is plywood, that is not seeing uh, great uh, growth as well. The GST shift hasn't happened. People are opting for lower priced variants, so that does not do well for margins. And MDF itself is eating or cannibalizing into the plywood share. So as a result of that, CLSA believes this is uh, uh, the stock performance could be muted and they have their sell rating. 
Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, thanks so much for that, Mangalam. Well, the other stocks we'll be looking at is Vodafone Idea. Uh, do you mind that rights issue uh, that opens up, right? Yes, the massive 25,000 crore rights issue by this telecom major has opened today. It will be closing on the 24th of April. This would be the largest rights issue that we've seen by any Indian company in uh, in our history so far. They will be issuing 2,000 crore new shares at a price of 12 and a half rupees per share. Massive dilution of 70 percent of the 25,000 crore rupees. As you can see on your screen, the promoter commitment stands at 18,250 crore, of which Vodafone will be 11,000 crore rupees, and the Aditya Birla Group will be contributing about 7,000 crore rupees, which means you're still left with about 6,750 crore, which should come in from the minority shareholders. Now, people were a bit worried whether the minority shareholders will participate in the rights issue, although it is at a very attractive price and at a steep discount. Um, you know, investors have lost a lot of money, so whether they want to put in more. But over there, uh, you know, when we got chatting with the management, they said they've seen very strong interest and keen interest from new as well as uh, existing subscribers, and they don't believe it will come down to the promoter subscribing to the unsubscribe portion, which basically means the Vodafone idea massive 25,000 crore rights issue should sail through with promoter as well as the shareholder participation. The stock did well in the last few days. Right now, as we speak, it's around the 17 rupee mark. Uh, the Vodafone idea uh, weighted average, you know, or the post rights issue price would be close to about 18.4 rupees, just purely doing the math. Okay, all right, uh, Rima, thanks so much for that. Well, let's do a quick recap then of all the top buzzing stocks we just covered. We had Wipro, Praj Industries, Century Ply, and Waterphone Idea.